This video is sponsored by KH Camera. So let's talk about the three reasons crop sensor is better than full frame. I know, I know, that's hugely controversial. And I'm sure y'all are already in the comments arguing, but honestly, I've been shooting on crop sensor for over five years now, and my results have been absolutely amazing. It's never once held me back. I don't feel like I'm not able to accomplish my weddings, and I'm making a lot of money using crop sensors. So I wanted to talk about this because it's one of my hugest pet peeves that people run around acting like you have to shoot on full frame to be a professional. But these three reasons are why I'm able to shoot crop sensor and honestly why I prefer it. Starting out with reason number one, which is depth of field. Now everyone's always, what? Depth of field? We already know it's better in full frame. That's not the point. There's a lot of people who start photography and they're so excited about it. And honestly, one of the first things people start doing that proves to them that they're starting to be a good photographer is getting extra bokeh on like absolutely everything. Depth of field is cool, like that's great. The background is blurry. But like at the end of the day, is it really adding to your photo? Or are you just doing it because it's so cool and background blurry bokeh everywhere? There's much more to a picture than the depth of field. And also when the depth of field is a little bit wider, you're able to actually hit your photos and get them in focus. Something you see often in a lot of new photography groups are people always asking, how do you get your photo so sharp? Or I'm always missing focus. This, that, and the other. Or this camera system doesn't have as much of a good focus system. The main reason that is, is because you're on a full frame camera shooting at 1.2. Clearly it's way easier to miss your focus. And then I know your first response is like, well, why don't you just stop down? But then what's the point? What's the point of having this large sensor and this super wide lens, which you're 1.2 or 1.0, and you are stopping down all the time? Now, obviously, as a wedding photographer, what's more important is getting my shots in focus. Clearly, you can blow out the background some, and it's going to be fine. But really, get your shots in focus. I shoot my weddings wide open basically all day. The only time I stop down are for flat lay photos and for group photos. And that's it, because with crop sensor, my depth of field isn't so thin. It's not just like this one little itty bitty, like, well, oh, make sure you get the wall, it's out of focus. Like I just, I shoot wide open and it's fine. Most of my photos when I first started shooting with Fujifilm were on the 23 and 35 F2 lenses. Shot them wide open at F2, everything looked great. Now I'm on the 1.4 and it's the same thing. Like I'm not missing shots because the depth of field is just so thin. I'm always getting the shots in and that's huge. If you're starting out, I would highly recommend starting with a crop sensor instead of going full frame and then missing all your shots and wondering why. Reason number two is the price. Now, if you're trying to run a business and actually make money, the ROI on a crop sensor system is way better than anything you would get with full frame. I mean, the top of the line Canon gear, you're spending ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 just on one camera and a couple of lenses. Where with Fujifilm, I can get away with their top of the line gear and maybe spend $5,000, $8,000? And that's two cameras and lenses. But one of the biggest things that everyone forgets about because they're running around trying to buy the best gear and they want to have all this stuff is that at the end of the day, you're running a business and you need to make income. If you're always spending your money on gear, you're not making income. And then at that point, it's like, what are you even working for? You're just working to make money to buy gear to be broke, to be working to buy gear to be broke. It's like the reason you quit your nine to five was to thrive as a self-employed person, not just be buying gear all the time. So the ROI is just so much better. I mean, even just look at these bodies next to each other. And I'm sure everyone's going to sit there and be like, well, well, it's because it's full frame versus crop. But like, what are you really gaining? Everyone always loves to complain about, oh, low light is so much better and depth of field. But is that worth the extra $2,000 you're going to be spending just to get full frame? Really, is it worth it? Let me know in the comments below. Since we're talking about ROI and buying gear, don't forget to check out this video sponsor, KH Camera. Now you can make your ROI in your business even better if you choose to buy slightly used gear from a company like KH Camera. They specialize in used gear and honestly the quality of their gear is top notch. They only take very lightly used gear and they also go over and clean it up and honestly the quality is mind blowing. 
KH camera has a large selection of film and digital cameras, so whatever it is you need, you can find. And again, if you're starting out or wanna try out crop sensor, going on KH is gonna be a great way to find something for the price that you want. On top of that, if you have cameras that you're not using, you can also sell your cameras to KH camera. Hop online with one of their specialists, show them the gear that you're trying to sell, they'll give you a quote, you send it to them and you get the money right back in your PayPal. The process was super easy and I actually did it when I sold my 56 a while ago. You can check out that video right up above. So again, I have links in the description where you can buy or sell gear and get 5% bonus on anything that you're doing with KEH camera. I highly recommend checking them out and honestly, it's gonna be one of the main ways that I'm buying, especially my film gear and anything else that may be used. Now, since we're talking about the ROI of crop sensor and also buying gear, before we get to the third point, let's talk about what you should be looking for in a crop sensor camera when you go to buy one. Because at the end of the day, the things that you want that are gonna make it professional don't really deal with the crop sensor itself, but the other features of the camera. So the main thing you wanna do when you're looking at buying a crop sensor camera is think about what you're mainly gonna be shooting. Now, again, yes, if you argue it, Full frame does do better in low light. However, in most situations, you're gonna have your own lighting. Everyone always says that, but it's like, you're really gonna walk into a dark room and just be in there shooting? No, unless you're doing like concerts or anything of that sort, you're probably gonna have lighting with you. So especially all you wedding photographers, don't let people tell you that, oh, you need a full frame because of low light. You're gonna have lights you're gonna have flashes, it's going to be fine. As long as you can find light, and low light does not mean bad light, there's a big difference. So again, become a good photographer and make sure you're shooting correctly and low light will not be a problem. So sit down and think about what it is you're gonna be shooting mainly. Are you doing events? Are you doing concerts? Are you doing families and kids? Think about it, because at the end of the day, if you're doing something like family and kids, or something where you're just always shooting in the daytime, you probably don't need full frame. You may as well save yourself the money and you're gonna get great photo results regardless. After you've sat down and thought about what you're mainly gonna be shooting, you wanna find a camera that has dual card slots. This is probably one of the biggest ones and it's not a necessity. I shot three years on a single card slot. However, if you have a card fail during a shoot, or while you're coming home and you have no backup, that is not a good look. So if you're out there charging people for shoots and you wanna be more professional, having crop or full frame is not the main thing you wanna concern yourself with, it's having dual card slots rather than one. If you're not familiar with dual card slots, that's where your SD cards or your CF cards or whatever cards you have in your camera, there'll be two of them instead of just one. This way you can shoot your photos and have them go to both cards at the same time so you immediately have a backup while you're shooting. And the last thing you wanna look for is quality. Now, one of the reasons I love Fujifilm is because they're specialists in crop sensors. They basically, over the years, were like, look, yo, we're not going to do full frame. We're gonna go all in on crop sensors. So because of that, they have some of the best quality crop sensor cameras out there. And they've only perfected it. I mean, once you get up to like the X-T5 and a 40 megapixel camera, like them things look good. The photos come out amazing. Like every time I use it, it's just so sharp and crisp. It looks so good. So again, you wanna find a company who appreciates their crop sensor and doesn't treat it like a third class citizen or something. They're just like, oh yeah, crop sensor, but you want the full frame. It's for professionals. You know, like find something that actually is going to do well in the crop format. So again, Fujifilm is probably the best place for that. Again, I am biased as well, but definitely look into them. Now on to the third reason why crop sensor is better than full frame is your clients don't care. I'm sorry. I see so many people being like, you have to have the best gear for your client. No, you don't. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. They want you to take beautiful photos and however it is you're gonna do that, that's all they care about. The photos are great, the moments are captured, you served them well, that's it. You don't need the best gear, there is no industry standard unless you're doing something like commercial work. Like really, if you're an event wedding photographer, your clients don't care. Honestly, I've seen a lot of stuff inside of groups where people are talking about their couples complaining about the backgrounds being blurry. So people really just, they just don't get it. 
if anything, they probably going to hit you back and be like, why are all my photos in portrait mode? You know, <laughs> like all they know about photography comes from like iPhones and stuff. They don't care. So why waste the extra money thinking you need the best when you could just get a crop sensor and be fine? No one, none of your clients are going to be like, was this shot on full? No one is. And honestly, half the time, if I wasn't telling you that I shot on crop sensor, would you really know? Like, really, if you went to someone's website, could you immediately be like, oh, yeah, that's full. No, no one can. No one can. So, again, it's like this arbitrary thing that photographers do and they run around and, oh, you got to have this specific thing. And you could get by without it. You would be fine and you would do great work. But because that's what everyone says, then all the new people think, well, I got to get a full frame to be professional. It's just... I hate it so much. But yeah, your clients don't care. They really don't. None of them are going to know. They know you have a camera. They know you're going to get photos. They know it's going to work out well. So because of this, don't focus on having to get a full frame camera. These three reasons are more than enough convincing that I needed to switch to crop sensor. And again, I switched from full frame to crop sensor. And my photos got better when I went to crop. So again, blurry backgrounds are cool, but you, the photographer, matters more than anything else. Let me know in the comments below what you all think about crop versus full frame. I know I'm over here lighting a fire saying that crop sensor is better, but really, I want to see what people are saying. I want to see how y'all feel about it and how it feels to be a professional shooting crop sensor. Also, if you want more proof that it can be done, look at these full wedding day videos here where I'm shooting exclusively with crop sensor cameras. There is one where I'm shooting with medium format, but that is a different subject. If y'all want me to do medium format versus full frame or something like that, let me know in the comments below as well, and I'll catch y'all next time.